Hello UiPath experts, welcome to the UiPath.learner channel. Thank you very much for subscribing. So today we will see about the UiPath apps. Uh, the first bot is like a employee bot. We will see the employee bot. So first of all, how can we create a employee bot? Let's create a one small process. Employee bot. This is a very simple thing, but uh, let us see. We have a folder. We have a folder here employee.xlsx suppose for example uh, it has a columns let's imagine we have a, uh, a folders uh, for each employee to store the their details uh, actually so once the new employee is onboarding then they have to create a new folder okay new folder okay so here so we have an excel excel has a three columns employee type what is the type whether it is a permanent employee or contract employee what is the salary of that person and what is the email id so here so what we will do so we will just create a one web uh, ui path app to get the these details simply it is like a data entry it will go and add the new entry but the values are coming from the ui path app let us create a one small workflow and give the input variables so what are all the inputs are there employee type and uh, uh, salary uh, employee, these things and all we will create a arguments uh, employee name uh, so type employee type salary right what is a employee email okay these are all the input variables I'm just creating the number of uh, employees that's the output variable we will create a output variable so we will just send after after adding how many number of employees are there so we'll send that as a, a variable okay <coughs> now so let's use these variables uh, use the excel application scope uh, you can just create a variable and store uh, the excel path or you can directly hard code i'm just browsing this excel applications excel file uh, from the employee bot uh, desktop desktop and uh, what is the folder uh, employee 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 folder employees folder this is the file read range what is the sheet names sheet name is like a employee data okay take that employee data and uh, so use here as a sheet name here is also <coughs> create a one data table table employee data table and here uh, what we can do so we can just simply write cell use the write cell activity to write the data into the cell so here in the a a what is a a last row how can we get the last row so if if you take the data table dot count so it will come the three three plus two that's a five okay because the headers it will go one and uh, so three plus uh, row data row see here just zooming out employee data table dot rows dot count plus two that is a, a last record a new record okay dot two string so this is a eight a five now it is a a five like that a5 b5 so in the a5 so use the same sheet name and use the empl uh, the arguments like a employee name here employee name and do the same thing for a b what is a b the column b is like a type employee type employee type do the same thing for C that is a salary employee salary 
so all are the arguments okay these are all coming from the web web application other uh, ui ui or uh, apps d what is a d column d is a m email id employee email uh employee email. okay okay so once everything is done so what we can do we can just simply uh tell the what is the number of uh, rows are there okay so that is the out uh, number of records that is the output output argument see out direction out argument so what we can do here the value is like a anyway once we add the a new record employee data table dot rows dot count plus one okay so total rows plus one so just now we added one one row right so that is a one okay now so to just uh, let me give the small delay for each and every thing okay every line every every cell once it is adding the every cell i'm just giving the each and every uh, adding this single one second delay just to show you look okay, that's it okay it's not uh, not required the delay i'm just publishing this uh, project so once i publish so you can go to the orchestrator log into the orchestrator and you can see the packages the employee bot and create a uh, go to the plotfund.uipath.com and log into your uh, your account and uh, click click on this the tenant go to the tenant <coughs> now you have to create a process okay in the processes just create a process create a process check the select the what is that employee bot employee employee bot and uh, what is the rope what is the environment is like a hp environment uh, click create okay so now the process is ready let's go and uh, i'm just closing this uh, studio uh, this one okay studio so once you log into the cloud you have a apps let's click on that apps okay in the apps so uh, cloud.uipath.com click on the apps and click on the create new so give the uh, employee emp on onboarding or data entry of employee or new employee okay click on the create so here you can see you can see there there is a container is there so let us drag this container here like this and you can add the this is a layout uh, this is a main page and this is a layout this is a container so what we have to add we have to add the processes just add the processes and here so if you want to connect to the another orchestrator you can connect through this one otherwise so it's already connected to the same tenant so in the same tenant so select the folder and what is the process name employee bot just click on the select <coughs> so this is the process name you can see here so refresh these are all the input parameters and result this is a output parameter okay let's go to the main page this is a page web page and this having the layout so the container automatically came if you want to add the container you can add from the add new uh, these containers are there different containers are there you can add otherwise uh, if you want to remove this layout so go here main page and add the container this one okay <coughs> container lay layout with the container okay now this is a page this is a page where we are going to develop add the uh once you click on the add control input display these things are all there display the law label so we have just taken the label and label name is a uh, employee or name and uh, after that add the another field like a input under inputs so you just add the text box just drag and drop this text box is like a once you select this text box value bind you can bind the value okay so once you click on this value bind so it will show up all the processes which you have and this processes have the all the direction uh, all the arguments so input arguments and output arguments drag that into the here <coughs> 
employee name and uh, do the same thing suppose uh, for example copy paste it's, it's not pasting okay so what we can do we can just simply go to the add new and do the same thing label drag label and change the name to the uh, type what is the type of the um, employee and uh, give the text box text box and this is a just bind this text box to the employee type and uh, do the same thing f again at the label and this is a salary okay and the next one is a text box uh, text box and here it is a employee salary and add the new thing like a label and uh, that label change change the label select this, this one uh, select this one and change the label what is that email id email id okay add the control to the text box email id <coughs> email id and uh, <coughs> uh, next one is uh, add the button submit button okay submit button so you can add the submit button you have styles you can st go to the select the any style here i'm selecting the red or just select the anything simply button or layout and this is a you can just select any way any place there's a whole thing right in the same way you can just simply make like this okay this is a layout now so in the in the button in the button uh, on board in enter or insert insert okay and uh, what is the uh, this is a uh, icons if you want to add the any icons you can add the icons like a uh, plus yeah i'm just adding the plus uh, select uh, drag this one okay plus insert okay insert uh, new employee insert new employee that is a button okay so now the button and uh, also to display the uh, what is the number of uh, uh, employees after adding so i'm just adding the a new label here new label here and uh, you can you can just change the styles also so the headers these things and all headers bold these things and all and also there's a font if you want to change the font so you can change the font like a times new roman arial these things and all you can change okay and the uh, bold italic underline okay so this is a you can just change these things and all and the styles i'm just making that as a center uh in in the label in, in the general just bind that value and the number of employees just drag and drop the number of employees bind the value and here if you want to remove you can remove the text and uh, uh, and and i'm just adding the uh, this is the number of employees if you want to add the one more label you already have this one one label here okay yeah this is a, like a number of employees number of employees style header okay so this will come under this okay and uh, here if you want to select the this here it is not displaying uh, click on this label and if you want to arrange that to the left side you can arrange that's it so after that so the final thing is the event so once the person click on this button the all the details whatever you are inserting these details it should go and uh, uh, write down into the excel in the last row okay that is our uh, thing okay and uh, create a create a role click on the start process you can just select anything start process drag this process that's it okay that's it we're done okay let us preview you can see what is going on here is the all the processes you are looking i'm just giving the like a um, Satya Raj, permanent employee, salary, Satya 
at the rate gmail.com I'm just clicking the new insert new employee see in the robot in the assistant it is running the process it start running the process okay so once it is running the process it will open the excel and it will type the this satya raj permanent employee these records at the last row let us see see it is uh, opening the excel and it is uh, writing the data into the excel actually what is deployed into the one other system and this web app is uh, we are just uh, uh, doing the some other place okay so this is a uh, 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 if you want to create your folders, you can create your folder also. Suppose for example, you can create a folder. Meanwhile, just go back, go back to the apps. And here is a new employee owner and uh, so edit and the final thing is you have to publish so this is once everything is a good guess clear click click on the publish this this your app was successfully published okay let's go to the apps and here it is a published status so you can just simply run from here okay or export duplicate share to some someone else if you want to share to someone else you can share by using this one you can share and give the permissions add the new user you can add the new user and uh, 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 create a role these things and all but now let us run from here okay so what i am just doing so i'm just taking the same uh, process uh, same package the people can run from here also or if you want to edit you can click on the edit uh, what we can do we can just simply create a folder here okay with that same name uh, suppose for example this is a satyaraj i'm just removing this satyaraj we have a three folders three records And here, <coughs> what we can do, we can just simply use the I uh, create folder uh, so that it will create a new folder from there. Okay, so just simply use the create directory or create a folder and give the path of the folder. That's it. Okay, the path of the folder is like up to this is of common and slash slash. Uh, employee name that's a that's a basically the name of the employee right <coughs> that is arguments these are all arguments okay uh, publish the latest version publish and update the latest package into the process orchestrator process so go to the orchestrator and refresh you can see the uh, latest process mm -hmm. this one last one okay so view the processes click on the use the latest version click ok and do cancel cancel and now go to here go to here you can just simply run the bot okay so now I'm just showing this one here and the folders so how many folders are there so we, we have three folders so let us run okay once we run, Dinakaran, type permanent employee, salary, Dina at the rate gmail.com. Okay, click on the insert. So I, I just trigger the board from the web UI path apps. Okay, so now it is the board is triggered. And it is uh, opening the Excel. See here, this Dinakaran folder is came in the lef left side folders, and Dinakaran record is added. And see the result here. Okay, result the four results. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Please subscribe.